Good morning. This morning we're doing a little video inside because it's really chilly outside. And it's still really dark, so I have to do the video a little bit earlier today. Uh, welcome to this little chit chat. This little fireside chat as my heater is going at my feet. Thank goodness. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, so good morning and welcome to this Friday chit chat. Um, I am Luca, I'm your holistic nutrition practitioner and I just had a couple of questions come through in my messages that somebody said, oh, well, I just went to go look for the wait list to get in on this gut love and boot camp, but I can't find it. You are correct. You cannot find it because the wait list closed just before the email went out to the early bird gang. So the people who got their name on the wait list by this morning, by 7 a.m. this morning, Alberta time, you will now have gotten an email in your inbox to give you a link to register for this Gut Love and Boot Camp. So you get first dibs on it, and you get a coupon to save a little bit of cash, and uh, then, sorry, my child is texting me. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so so anyway, so the link went out this morning. It is all ready for you in your inbox. If you got your name on the wait list, it does not register you in the class. You still have to take that step. What that wait list did was that it flagged to me how many people are interested in it to make sure that I had enough spots for everyone. So there are enough spots for everyone and a few extras. So when registration opens next Tuesday, there should still be spots left. Okay, here's the other thing wait list, but how, why would I want the wait list? If you're new to this whole concept, this, uh, we're talk I've been talking for the last week, every morning here on the horn, every weekday morning, I've been talking about the gut love and boot camp. So if you're interested to know a little bit more than what I'm covering in today's video, you can scroll back through my feed and you'll be able to see the daily posts I've been putting up, the daily lives. They're in my main feed on my page. So this Gut Love and Boot Camp is a group program and we've got enough spots for everyone who wants to join. It's a small group though, so it's a, it's a nice way to get at why the gut is ground zero. So I have a two hour gut loving class, it's called the Vitality Gut class. Uh, and that's a great class to start with, but I'll tell you, this six week group program does an even better job of it. So the gut, the vitality gut class is great to get into the biochemistry of why the gut is ground zero and sort of how your body is built, the structural pieces of the gut, what they do and all those pieces. And we are covering that, but we're going even deeper in this gut loving boot camp, if you will. So the Real Food Redux is the name of the program and the gut loving boot camp is kind of the middle juicy part of the whole program. Each part, of, each of the three parts of the program stand alone. They are meant together to give you the tools to know how to best feed yourself and those at your table. And it's about switching to real food. That's what this entire Real Food Redux has always been about. And it's the kind of program that I wish all of my clients would take before they come see me. It happens to be about 80% of the work. And this middle juicy part, I call it, is that gut love and boot camp component. So we do four modules, four video modules, and then two worksheets and goal setting pieces as the book ends to the six weeks. In there, we also do three full live hour Q and A's with moi. So we join on Zoom, only those who are in the program can have access to this, and three full hours over the course of six weeks where we will sit on a Thursday night, whether you catch us live or you catch the replay within the week, I don't care. I mean, I'd rather you be there live because then it becomes a conversation as opposed to me going blah, blah, blah. So those are the pieces you get when you join this Real Food Redux. So the registration for early birds went out this morning at 7.15, you guys get first dibs. Tuesday morning, we will be launching an opening registration to everybody else. The, course for the, the cost for the course is 99 bucks. 99 bucks for three full hours plus another two hours of recorded videos recipes. There's at least 10 recipes. I'll post about the recipes later today so you can know what you're getting yourself into. But a bunch of recipes and will be, uh, there's some goal setting and some worksheets that get in there and you learn why fats are so important, 
which ones to use, which ones to use for cooking, which ones to use cold, which ones to not even finish the bottle before it before you buy the next round. Yeah, we're talking to you, canola oil. Pitch it. Don't even finish it. Don't even give it to someone that you hate. You don't hate anybody that much. Uh -uh. So we talk about that. We talk about how to build your own food as medicine toolkit. So these are the pieces to do the gut repair at that gut lining. And you do have three layers at that gut lining. So we talk about what each layer does and what kinds of foods to target the best nutrition for your intestinal lining, the mucosal barrier, and your microbiome. We talk about fermented foods. We get into why fermented foods may work for some and why it may not work for others. We get into why meat stock is a better option than bone broth. What's the difference? But bone broth, everybody says bone broth is so great. Oh my gosh, I'm one of those people who cannot handle bone broth and lost a pair of pants and my dignity in the process. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We get into as well why digestion is actually where it's at. It's the shizzle, baby. Digestion and how to know if you're not digesting well and what kind of pieces you can put in place for yourself. There are zero supplements in this program. It is all about practical, everyday things that would have been traditional knowledge passed down from one generation to the next. And for some reason, the last two generations, we thought we had the answer to everything because science. I am so pro-science, I'm going to tell you. I am also pro-knowing some of those things that our ancestors would have passed on. Because here's the deal. The way that our ancestors moved through the world was the way that it worked. You didn't change very much from one generation to the next. You cooked very much the same way. You didn't tend to move away. You tended to stay close to where you were. Once in a while, somebody moved far away. But until fairly recently in the evolution of humans, we tended to stay close to home. We tended to do very similar things food-wise than the people who came before us. Because everything was slow food. There was no other option. There was no bag of chips. There was no corner store you could pick up a roast chicken on the way home. There was no farmer that you could stop by and pick up a pre-made soup. Nobody had that. Everyone knew how to cook, and everyone cooked super simply at home. Nobody in North America was making pad thai until maybe 50 years ago. Delicious pad thai. Mmm. Ooh, pad thai. Yeah, maybe that's for dinner tonight. Anyway, uh, <laughs> these are the kinds of tools and pieces that have gone missing in that generational piece. And this is what we're addressing. When I talk about bringing in the wisdom of our grandmothers, that's what I'm talking about. See, when your people before you, doesn't matter where your people come from, if you are a settler, if you are an indigenous person, if you are still in the land that your people came from, your people, your culture behind you, all the people, do you see that long lineup of ancestors behind you? They had a certain way of eating. They had a certain way of bringing food to the table. And that didn't really change from one generation to the next. So as you can imagine, over the hundreds of years that your people developed and came along closer and closer to you, they all had the same way of eating, and that is how they developed. That's how their genetics developed, with that steady stream of real food, slow food, simple food, actually, salt and pepper. I'm not saying let's just cook like your ancestors, but I'm saying let's look to some of their wisdom and bring that back into the equation. Because while we've created the new, and I'm so grateful for having created the new, what's happened is we've had to let go of some of the old. And now we're starting to see some chronic health stuff. And we're starting to see that it's running in generations, but if you look back, it's really only two, three, maybe at most four generations. Yeah, that's because when stuff starts to show up, for example, in my practice, if I see a child if a client coming in is a child and they have some health stuff going on, I guarantee you that mom and dad have stuff. Always mom and most times dad. And if you go back another generation, grandma probably had some starting pieces. And that all has to do with how we're born, what kinds of things get passed along in that whole birthing process, and how we've now turned to super sanitizing everything. And while I understand that that is important so that we do not transmit the COVID thing, I get it. I'm not against it. What it has done, it has undermined our microbiome. 
When you undermine your microbiome, now you start to play with how your children are going to develop. Playing with that microbiome starts to mess with the genetic expression of those who come after you. So, is there something we can do? Heck yeah, there's stuff you can do. This is the new. We're living in the new. I'm not saying let's go live in the past. What I am suggesting, though, is bring in the wisdom of the past so that we can currently live in the new. This disconnect that we've got with our old is not serving us. We're creating the new, yeah, for sure. But it's now time to bring in the wisdom of our elders. I say that because I always picture there's a long line of women behind me. My sisters, my mom, my grandmother, my grandmothers, both of them, and everybody before them. Yeah, you've been in the making for a really long time. So that's the kind of stuff that we cover in the Real Food Redux. And that part two called the Gut Loving Boot Camp or the Juicy, whatever you want to call it, it gets started on October 31st. And we are, again, going to be concentrating on those gut mending pieces. This is the Gut Loving Boot Camp. We are going to talk about what contributes to digestion being off, what contributes to inflammation in the gut, and why that's an important piece to keeping well, why that's an important piece to help reduce autoimmune flare-ups, why that's important to try to keep those common diseases at bay, why you have a family history of type 2 diabetes, even though you guys are not super candy eaters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Potatoes and rice? Do you think that's actually what's causing it? Mm. In the moment, perhaps it is stoking it. But it's not because you're eating potatoes. It's not because you're eating rice. It's because something's not working at the gut level. It's always so much deeper. And it is always going to be the gut. So this is the most important part of this whole real food redux. This is the juicy. This is the information I wish everyone had. Because if we had this, this wisdom of our ancestors, this way of moving through the world with the old ways, we would do well. There's no supplements, like I said. These are all practical pieces that you need to know in order to turn on digestion, why it's important, and how to look after your gut. What kinds of food preparation things have we changed over the last hundred years that has only brought on more leaky gut? Yeah. Who has leaky gut, Luca? Everyone under the age of 70. Everyone. It's a common thing. And also, it's not the end of the world. Babies are born with a leaky gut. And they are able, in the right conditions, to help bring the cells of the intestinal lining back together. That's what we're proposing in this whole program. And that's at the core of being a human in 2020. That is at the core of building emotional resiliency so that you can weather those stressful storms. Who doesn't feel 2020 is super stressful? These are the pieces to put in place to support your hormones, to support an easier transition time if you're in transition times of life where we're talking kids growing up, we're talking pregnancy, we're talking going into menopause, we're talking getting into the retirement age and helping to keep those chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia, cancer, obesity, heart disease, the big guys and the little guys, painful joints, osteoporosis, that's not a little guy, osteoporosis is a big guy, thyroid stuff, doesn't matter what you've got going on, looking after your gut is always going to be the best first piece. And this is where you start. So early bird registration already went out. Wait list is closed for this round. So if you're interested in joining for us on this next round, keep checking in. Hit like on today's post so that you will get notification because I'm going to be talking about it and announcing it on my main feed and in my stories. So check back in the next couple of days. We launch Tuesday morning registration for everybody else. It's 99 bucks for six weeks. And you have in total at least five hours of me talking at you. I'm not sad about that. Are you? Anyway, look forward to having you join us. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and we'll get your questions answered. In the meantime, I hope it's a lovely Friday where you are and that the sun brings you joy and a cup of tea in your hand. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.